Welcome back to my channel guys. It has definitely been a minute since I last posted. I think the last time I posted was like a year ago, like a proper video a year ago. Anyway, for all those of you who are new here, my name is Maccus. I make videos on lifestyle, fitness and music. So if that's something that interests you, then why not consider subscribing? I have suffered from acne for a very long time. I had it from 16 to pretty much 26, so 10 years. Only in the last year has it cleared up and you can kind of see my acne transformation video. I made a little short about it. So go and check that out if you really wanna see the changes. Over the course of the year, I changed quite a few things in my life and it's resulted in clearer skin, as you can see. Still not completely clear and I will probably be going for laser acne removal at some point to get rid of the scars, but I'm getting far fewer breakouts now which is fantastic. So without further ado, let's get on to the five tips on how to get clearer skin. Tip number one is to exfoliate daily. So buy yourself an exfoliating daily wash. And what you wanna do is you wanna wet your face first and then kind of like lather up the exfoliating daily wash and then leave it on for about 30 seconds to a minute before washing it off. You wanna do this at least once a day, either in the morning or in the evening. But if you're a jimmy sporty person and you sweat quite a bit like myself, then you can use it twice a day. Fantastic. Tip number two is to use a daily moisturizer. So I use Cetaphil. Moisturizing lotion, normal to dry, sensitive skin. Okay, so you can use one specifically for the face, but this is for face and body, so it does the same job, it's great. It's even got niacinamide in it, avocado oil, panthenol, and vitamin E. Yeah, so all the stuff, all the good stuff that you want. And the reason that you need to moisturize is because when you wash your face, when you exfoliate your face, it takes away some of the oil, so you need to kind of replace that oil and the moisturizer kind of acts like a barrier, so it protects your skin. You can use the moisturizer at least once a day. You can use it twice. I tend to use it once because my sun cream already has moisturizer in it, but that's kind of the next tip, so I'll get onto that now. Tip number three is to use sun cream, so an SPF factor sun cream. I tend to use factor 50, even though I don't really burn, but I want the strongest UV protection. And the reason you wanna use sun cream daily, even on the day when it isn't super sunny, is because the UV rays from the sun can really flare up acne, can really make it go red and make it really irritable. And I mean, there's loads of other great reasons for using sun cream, but one of them is it slows down like the aging process of your skin because sun damage is a real thing. Tip number four is to use a retinal cream. So I use, CeraVe, which is a resurfacing retinol serum with three essential ceramides, licorice root extract and niacinamide. What this kind of does is it resurfaces your skin. It might encourage a bit of peeling. It helps with the acne scars and also potentially if you have some breakouts as well. It gentles even skin tone, helping to fade the appearance of post-acne marks and pores for a fine complexion while helping restore the protective skin barriers. It regenerates the surface of your skin essentially. So really, really important that you use some sort of Retinol. Before I used CeraVe, I was actually on tretinoin, like I think 0.2% tretinoin or something like that, and it had an antibiotic in it as well. And that worked, but you can only use that for short periods, whereas for this, you can use this for longer periods. Tip number five, the biggest, most important tip that changed so many things for me is what you put into your body. So your diet, your hydration. So obviously drink plenty of water. You wanna be drinking at least two to three liters of water a day, probably more, a lot more if you play sports, if you go to the gym. The skin is like the largest organ in the body. So you wanna make sure that you're getting plenty of fluids to hydrate that skin, to look after it, to take care of it. So talking more about diet, it's super, super, super important. The things that you put into your body are gonna determine what comes out of your body Okay, that, that came out kind of wrong. If you're eating a lot of junk food, high in fats, slash oils, sugars, carbs, your skin isn't gonna be fantastic. If you're eating like a highly processed diet, your skin isn't going to look great. So you wanna focus on trying to eat more whole foods. If it looks like it's been processed like a thousand times, you probably shouldn't be putting it into your body. However, that's not to say that you can't go out and have like a Five Guys or a McDonald's or a pizza once in a while, but it's just something to bear in mind that you're probably gonna have breakouts if you if you eat a bit unhealthy, essentially. In addition to this, you wanna work out what allergies and what intolerances you have. So a big one that I had was dairy. Figuring out that I was actually slightly dairy intolerant made me cut down like the cheese. I mean, I don't drink milk anyway, but I cut down the cheese. I don't even eat dairy ice cream anymore and I really limit any sort of pizza. Even like mozzarella, I can have a little bit, but I really try and limit it. Kind of follow the elimination diet. Once I eliminated dairy from my diet, my skin just, 
it, it cleared up so much. So I'd highly recommend you basically experiment a little bit and find out what things agree with your body and what things don't. So I totally forgot to add this in earlier, but I've had a doctor say to me that my diet would not affect my skin. He was wrong. It does affect your skin. So those are the five tips on how to get clearer skin. And I do actually have a bonus tip for you. So the bonus tip or tips are figure out what kind of skin type you are. You can be normal, you can be dry, or you can be oily. I'm probably more along the normal now. The reason why this is important is because it's gonna determine what kind of moisturizer you get. So of course, if you have oily skin, you don't wanna get moisturizing lotion for sensitive skin and vice versa, and same with sun cream. Another little tip is, it's not really relevant anymore, but back during the COVID, obviously, when you all used to wear masks, the masks would really irritate my skin at least, and a lot of people found that the masks made their acne worse as well. So don't wear a mask. I mean, it's not really that relevant anymore, but wear a visor if you have to wear something, or minimize how long you have to wear the mask for. If you enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up as it really does help the channel out. And if you would like to see more videos like this, why not consider subscribing? Until next time, guys. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found.